Drive. Join the conversation with the Morning Mangelis on Pulse 95 Radio. You can do so on the text lines 4215 and also on Pulse 95 Radio's Instagram account. And a big conversation surrounding the rainy conditions at the moment is uh, what, what, how do I get my car repaired? What, what do I need to be aware of when it comes to insurances? How do I get in touch with them? What's happening? What are the legalities? What are the areas that will be covered or won't be covered? All of these questions will be answered today, this morning, as we're very kindly joined on the lines by Hamad Sharaf, who is the Chief Strategic Partnership at uh, the Watani at Takaful. A very good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. It is a pleasure to have you on air with us. And uh, let's start off by talking about it. it must have been a very busy time. And of course, a lot of people would be thinking, um, you know, does, does, does my car insurance really cover rain? How do I find out? What's the fine print? How should I read my insurance? So, Mr. Hamad Sharaf, if you can brief our listeners. Well, uh, first of all, rainwater and floods are generally excluded from most motor policies unless you get a good comprehensive policy like the ones we offer where it clearly includes flood protection but it's important to take precautions for example first of all try not to uh, try not to drive when the government is actually urging people not to drive and to stay at home Uh, limit driving to a minimum and uh, drive safely which means drive slowly and leave a larger than usual gap with cars in front um, it's always important to uh, to have a good policy in hand and try to, if you could, I would urge people to get a comprehensive policy instead of a third party policy, which will cover them from more angles in their insurance policies. OK, and uh, in a, your, your word, word of advice for a lot of them who maybe don't have the coverage or maybe have the coverage as well, uh, when their vehicles break down, what should they do first? Uh, first and foremost, your safety and the safety of your family and the ones who are around you is the most important aspect. Um, vehicles are always repairable and replaceable. Um, during a breakdown, I would say that the first thing you should do is probably find a higher ground and leave the car to ensure your safety and your family. Uh, if needed, uh, you can call the police or the emergency services and only after that, you can call the roadside assistance by checking the number that comes with your motor policy. But whatever you do, don't try to fix your car yourself. If you are insured with Wataniya, you can call our uh, toll-free number, 800 Wataniya, and our team will be able to help you and assist you uh, to submit a claim. Another option would be also going through our online portal and submit your police report over there. Okay. And do you normally witness um, an increase in inquiries and complaints? Um, you know, uh, and, there are, and are there any circumstances where claim can get rejected, for example? Well, it is normal for insurance companies generally to receive a higher volume of inquiries and claims during the heavy rains, with motor claims increasing, I would say, to around 25% compared to normal times. But when it comes to complaints, it's usually because of slow or poor support for example if the recovery company is slow to arrive or the repairs are slow or bad that's when people tend to come and complain to the insurers Um, however in Wataniya we closely monitor our recovery and repair partners to ensure quick recovery responses and high quality repairs Uh, our staff our surveyors are usually on ground and they visit the workshops the repair shops and the roadside assistance to make sure that they get a fast and thorough service Okay, and you know, speaking about the recovery partners, uh, you know, we do know that when Charger Municipality spoke to us, they said they you know they had more water tanks everywhere. The police increased their patrols. The forecasters were giving out their alerts. Do you have a strategy in place for something like this? Where you, where you sort of partner with more recovery uh, drivers for for these for these kind of situations? Of course, the capacity is important. So we are constantly in touch with the recovery partners to ensure that they have the right capacity and they are able to provide a quick response. And if needed, and if the emergency comes that we will need more uh, partners on board, we will sign them up and to make sure that there's not any disruption for the customers. Okay. And now can you explain property insurance? I know it's not man- mandatory uh, for lots of people to get it, but uh, when it comes to rain as well, a lot of people would now be considering it. Uh, so can you talk to us about, uh, is it really important and, ha- and does it cover rain damage, for example? 
I think with uh, the changes in climate, it's becoming more and more important to cover all your properties in the United Arab Emirates. See, you can see that the heavy rains, it can actually increase the property claims due to the water leaks that comes from roofs and uh, most of the time even windows. Um, but what more matters the most over here is the right policy from a reputable insurer before such weather conditions arrive to ensure coverage of essential elements like I would say um, the cleaning cost, replacing uh, replacing the damaged items or repairing uh, the items that are been, have been damaged and even pumping, like you said, pumping out the water from your home if it flooded. A good A good property policy would always include coverage of your home contents, not just the home structure. Okay. And any fine print in both the motor and uh, and then property insurance that people should should really look out for to to make sure that you know they're very fully protected. Um, I would say that uh, it's important to have a clear dialogue with your insurance uh, agent, um, so you are hundred percent clear of what's covered and what's excluded, and uh, that conversation needs to be clear for you to. Uh, be able to know what what you're covered in and not yeah. when the when the claim arises yeah it's very important to be doing that because a lot of people tend to get through this very quickly and quickly sign and, and, and get their papers submitted so that they can get their vehicles or any or property insured quickly. Now, uh, whilst we have you with us, I know there was a big news that took place earlier this year that made it mandatory for everyone to have uh, health insurance. Can you comment on on that and how does it all work that people, even you know, if, you, if you're a freelancer, for example, or even a partner visa, for example, you all need mandatory health insurance now? Well, yes, this, this did start first in Abu Dhabi and Dubai a few years ago. And we believe this is an excellent move by the federal government to ensure all employees have health insurance in all the Emirates, starting from the rule is going to kickstart in January 2025. Uh, I think this will give a lot of people a peace of mind, a lot of employers. Uh, uh, and we have, that would be around, I would say, almost a million and a half people that reside in the United Arab Emirates. Um, it's important to look at an insurer that has a streamlined and digitized onboarding for large numbers if you're an employer who have a lot of uh, employees um, so that you can have a smoother and seamless process onboarding your uh, employees when the when the rule comes in and also it's important for you to to work with a reputable insurer to file claims in a simple process and not make it too difficult for your employees Brilliant. Well, uh, we can only thank you, and I'm sure it's going to be a very busy time for you, you and, and the team as well, with uh, with the ongoing situation. And thank you very much for clarifying things for us, Mr. Hamad. My pleasure. Thank you. We're listening to Hamad Sharaf, who is the Chief Strategic Partnership at Watani Takafu. Thank you very much for joining us, and uh, you can catch this discussion as a podcast uh, on Spotify, Apple Podcast, as well as uh, uh, SoundCloud, and. Uh, th- Thank you all for tuning in to Morning Majlis. And if you've got more questions, you can do so. Send us through on 4215.